Hey what's going on everyone, welcome to a patch overview for Kel'thas. To start things off, Kel'thas himself has been introduced as the latest hero to enter the Nexus. This fire mage from the universe of Warcraft is a ranged assassin very similar to Jaina. Some of his iconic spells include Flamestrike, Phoenix, and Pyroblast. Moving on to gameplay, there are a couple of quality of life changes that are going to make the game much more enjoyable. The first one is the option to enable right clicking through the minimap. If you've ever been annoyed that your hero suddenly turned around and died because you clicked on the minimap by accident, you might want to enable it. Number 2. Upon reaching level 25 on your account, talent gating will no longer be applied to you. This means you'll have access to every single talent option, even on heroes below level 4. All I can say is, it's about damn time. Now let's take a look at the juicy stuff, the balance changes, starting with a few talents that were modified. Both focused attacks and follow through had their damage increased to bring them closer to their competition. Based on the heroes that have access to them though, this won't change a thing. Next up is Healing Ward, which was hit incredibly hard this patch. It can now be struck by AoE abilities instead of just basic attacks. To make it a little bit more viable, they added health to it. The problem is, it's super low and a single multi-shot can take it down. And the last one, you can now reactivate Ice Block to cancel its effect early. This is such a great change and hopefully a hint as to where this game is headed. Let's move on to the heroes, starting with Nova. Her level 7 talent, One in the Chamber, had its damage increased. This brings the numbers very close to Anti-Armor Shell and completely changes Nova's playstyle. It is there to give players the option to decide how they want to play the hero. Burst damage in and out of stealth or constant damage weaved in between spells. Second is Raynor. The attack speed buffs from Inspire were increased slightly, but it's still not enough to bring him out of the bottom of the pit. Third is Abathur. If you're wondering if they fixed the backdooring tactic, the short answer is yes. The talent that allowed his Locust to shoot from long range had its range reduced by 30%, preventing them from attacking outside of structure range. A hero that was significantly affected by this patch is Gaslow. His Death Lacer's damage was reduced, but so was the buildup. This makes it much more viable during fights as you won't be standing there charging up for 10 years. He also had a few talent changes that make his overall play stronger, but delay his max wombo until level 16. The Lost Vikings were also victims of the nerf bat. Their jumps cooldown was increased by 10 seconds, making them much more vulnerable. They also added a 1.5 second stun that will affect all 3 Vikings if the longboat is destroyed before the duration ends. I don't see how this is enough to bring them in line, but at least it's something. Remember how the quality of life changes turned Diablo from one of the least picked heroes in the game to a monster? Well, the same might happen with Anubarak. His beetles now actually work. They also reduce some of the cast delays on his spells, making him much more fluid. Meriden, more specifically Battle Meriden, received a nice buff as he was given his own version of Executioner, but with 75% increased damage instead of 40. Haymaker's cooldown was also reduced by 10 seconds. His reverberation talent was also increased to a 50% attack speed reduction at level 1. I'm not sure who did the numbers on that, but holy moly! Moving on to Diablo, this guy feels a lot weaker now. He can now be interrupted in the middle of his shadow charge animation and its cooldown was increased by 2 seconds. More importantly, his health regen and early game durability were pretty much obliterated in exchange for a tankier late game. As for ETC, his split pushing was severely hit after losing Echo Pedal at level 4. However, he received 3 very powerful new power slide talents. They essentially took away his kill potential in exchange for more utility. The last hero is Zonia. Her Seismic Slam's damage was increased by a good bit, around 20% at level 20. Whirlwind now also heals for a lot less against minions, but a little more against heroes. The biggest change is that Whirlwind's cooldown is now only 4 seconds, even if you get interrupted. This makes her a lot more mobile and durable during fights. That's gonna do it for this patch overview, thanks for watching. If you're interested in a quick Kel'thas guide including talents, click the video in the middle of your screen. Make sure you keep an eye out on getbonk.com for all the updated talent builds and tier list. Thanks again, I'm these LOL, and don't forget to have fun. You are not prepared!